Hi, I'm Jabsy for the Armchair Historian. During the Fourth Crusade, the Crusaders sacked Constantinople and dissolved the Byzantine Empire. The Latins founded the Latin Empire, Thessalonica and other states, while the Greeks were left ruling Nicaea and Epirus. But as soon as the Crusade ended, Baldwin I of the Latin Empire was able to expand his holdings by taking Adramition in 1205 from Nicaea. However, to the north they were brought into a war against the Second Bulgarian Empire, so Baldwin signed a truce with the Nicaeans to counter this new threat. Meanwhile, to the east, the state of Trebizond was formed when the Georgians led an expedition against the Byzantine Empire during the Fourth Crusade. They helped install David Komnenos as ruler, and as another claimant to the successor of the Byzantine Empire, he began to launch attacks westward. But during these attacks he had to be rescued by the Latins during a retreat. In response to this, he effectively swore fealty to the Latins and sent supplies to Constantinople, as Theodore I Lascaris became ruler of Nicaea in 1205. In 1208, the Nicaeans attacked Trebizond, but the powerful Bulgarian ruler Kaloyan had been killed. So the Latins were free to aid Trebizond and force the Nicaeans to withdraw and the truce was signed. But the Bulgarians advanced in Europe again. However, during the truce, the Seljuk Muslims under Kai Kushro attacked the Nicaeans. He had spent time in Constantinople before the Crusade when his brothers beat him to the throne, and he became friends with the now exiled Byzantine Emperor Alexios III. After he had been deposed as the Byzantine Emperor during the Fourth Crusade, he claimed the title of the Emperor of Nicaea. But he was imprisoned by Boniface of Montferrat, the ruler of Thessalonica, and was ransomed by Michael of Epirus in 1210. Now free, he formed an alliance with the Seljuks, and in exchange for the promise of territory, they agreed to help install him to the throne of Nicaea. Together they marched on Antioch on the Meander with thousands of men, far more than the Nicaeans could muster, and they met in June 1211. Although the Seljuks had all but defeated the Nicaeans, Kekushro tried to kill Emperor Theodore, and successfully knocked him off his horse. But he in turn was knocked from his horse and beheaded, causing panic within the Seljuk ranks, and they retreated. So the Nicaeans just barely won, and they formed an alliance with the new Seljuk Sultan against Trebizond, which became a Seljuk vassal. But the Nicaean army was depleted, so Henry, the ruler of the Latin Empire, looked to exploit this and invaded, landing in Pegai. He defeated the Nicaeans in October 1211 and moved on to Pergamon. But guerrilla attacks stopped the Latins from advancing any further and peace was made in 1214, as Nicaea surrendered a great deal of land. And fighting subsided in Asia Minor, as the Latins were preoccupied in Europe having lost Thessalonica to Theodore of Epirus. Then in 1222, Emperor Theodore of Nicaea died, and his son-in-law John III Ducas Vatices took over, leaving the Lascaris family disinherited. So, Theodore's brother Alexios and Isaac fled to the Latin Empire to get support from the new Latin Emperor Robert I. Despite his empire being in decline, he sent troops to help them claim the throne of Nicaea, but were defeated at Poimenion in 1224. After this victory, the Nicaeans were free to advance and marched into Europe and took Adrianople in 1225. However, the other Greek state Epirus advanced on the city and the Nicaeans fled and made peace with the Latins, taking most of their Asian territories. However, before Epirus could attack Constantinople, they were crushed by the Bulgarians in 1230, making Nicaea the strongest claimant to be the successor of the Byzantine Empire. So John III made an alliance with the Bulgarians and took over Gallipoli in 1235, then the two marched on Constantinople. But their siege was unsuccessful as the two leaders could not decide who would take control of the city. They therefore retreated when winter came and the new Latin Emperor Baldwin II tried to raise funds and armies in Western Europe. The Nicaeans and Bulgarians spent the following years capturing territory around Constantinople, and in the west many leaders within Epirus began to defect to the Nicaeans. But John died in 1254, and eventually John IV became emperor in 1258. But Michael VIII Palaiologos was regent, and Michael took Constantinople in 1261 and seized power, becoming the emperor of the restored Byzantine Empire. 